Shiza here. I just kind of wanted to record just a vlog. Um, yeah, my friend Jay Free just left and we just finished recording these awesome Tea and Tarot Tuesday videos and I felt really productive. And on top of that, so I've had three friends in the past year ask, or the past two years maybe, ask if they could use my likeness in comic books that um, they were, one's a graphic novel, one's a comic book, and, no, they're all, I think, one's a comic book and the other are graphic novels, and, um, that's really exciting. You don't know me, or maybe some of you do, but I don't think anybody that's watching this is going to be someone who knows me really well. My friends, close friends, are not going to watch my daily vlogs. But, um, I kind of have this weird obsession with, oh shit, I'm sorry, that's my Facebook thing, but I'm not going to stop this. I have this weird kind of obsession with being a muse. I know that's super self-centered, but I feel like I worked really hard to bring all my inner beauty into outer beauty, and I think I'm a really beautiful person in general, and I feel like, what's the point of that if nobody can be inspired by it? So that's where it stems from. It's just like, somebody be inspired by this. Love me. <laughs> Love me so much that you want to create. Like, not create a baby in me, you know what I mean? Like, just create because you're inspired by my beauty. That's all I want. Um, so, yeah, that kind of driving thing to be a muse, um, I think has me manifesting that. And I'm just a little cartoonish in nature and kind of whimsical. So, I appreciate that these people have said, hey... I want to use your likeness because I think you're a goddamn cartoon. That's beautiful. Like, I would I would rather be that kind of amused any day. I can go to Comic-Con one day. I would love to tell you about the projects, but they're not my projects. I'm just inspiration, so I can't do that. But I have complete faith in these people that they're going to complete these projects. Um, and that's going to be a really cool thing for me and my goal to inspire people. So that happened today and I recorded my videos today and then another person, a stranger that is now a friend, his name is Adam Todd, asked if he could draw me. So cool. And I promised him that I wouldn't get bigoted about it. Um, but no people like. No, big-headedness is not a thing for me. I, I'm i as self-centered as I'm going to get. And I'm okay with that. Um, there is a an air of absurdity in how I view all of this stuff. Like, this is genetics. That's it. That's it. It doesn't... It makes up such a small part of who I am. So, I appreciate being complimented. I appreciate my own beauty. I have learned how to accentuate it and how to appreciate it. And I haven't always. So, I'm in a phase of my life where, like, I don't know, me. Like, I can... I'm going to take these compliments. And I'm going to appreciate that people appreciate my physical beauty. Because that's something that was missing at some point in my life is my own self-appreciation for that. Um, but there's still just this like level of absurdity with it all too for me. I don't take it that seriously um, to get big headed because a couple people give me compliments or decide to draw me or whatever. It's just, it's something that I've wanted. And so being asked that is like, it's just very cool. And if you believe in like manifestation, then I think you can agree that that's cool that I put that weird kind of thought out there and that it's happening in such an appropriate way via like a comic book um because I'm not ever gonna be like a, I'm not a pinup girl I'm not um I'm too quirky and so to me people drawing me and drawing my likeness is cooler than like a photographer just wanting to take pictures of me like, I am 
my own views. If you look at my Instagram, there's going to be so many things. I take pictures of so many things, but like, I want to take pictures of myself. It's good. It's good. I'm my own muse for that. So I, I don't necessarily want to be like a photographer's muse. Uh, I think it's way cooler that people want to reflect on my beauty and then draw it. Or just draw something that that is inspired by my life too. Not not just how I look. So that's even more important that people think I'm cooler. Like, I don't know. You know, cool like that. Cool like that. Like we're talking about comic books here, you know, I'm kind of a I'm not gonna say a queen of the nerds, but yeah, like I, when you are I mean, I'm, I'm not going to call myself a nerd. I've never been a nerd. I'm a very intelligent woman, and I was an intelligent girl. And But I, I my male friends that I hung up out with, a lot of them were nerds. A lot of them were just, like, cool guys that weren't out there trying to be what society told them they had to be. And that kept their childhoods alive longer than most people. And I'm a girl who just so happens to have kept her childhood alive longer than most people. So to me... My likeness being used in a comic book is really cool. And I can't wait to see what that's like. And I just really want to do a vlog because that's exciting news for me. So yeah, shouts out of nowhere. I'm going to put out a Tea and Tarot Tuesday video today. Soon. Brooke. Let's do this. <laughs> and um, stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching whoever is watching right now. Uh, 